What's up people, Manrad here. Few videos back, I had unboxed this uh, sharpening stone. Today I'm gonna use it and see how it works. The two knives that I'm gonna be using are this one and uh, this one, these are my main knives. And don't do this, but this is dull. This knife is dull, it can't even cut anything. Just to give you an idea how dull it is, not putting too much pressure, but it's not even making a dent or a cut in the tomato. Once I'm done, hopefully I can just give you the weight of the knife, cut through it. Uh, the step one will be to take the stone out, rinse it off. Once you rinse it off, we need to let it soak. And the stone that I'm using is a thousand and uh, six thousand grit stone. So I'm gonna rinse it under water, then I'm gonna soak it in this container. I'm gonna soak it in this container for about 15, 20 minutes. And you don't need to use uh, hot water or warm water, just use your regular tap water. Preferably 20 minutes will be better, uh, but I'm gonna soak it for 15. Let the stone, stone get completely submerged. As you can see, now it's submerged. I'm gonna leave it in here, and you can see some air bubbles escaping out of it. I'm gonna just flip it once, that way if there was any excessive air, it can come out. And now you can see air bubbles escaping from here. So it, clearly they had, it had some air. While this is going through, I'm going to assemble uh, the squishy bottle, which is this thing right here, and I'm going to get the base ready. And because it's a red and white stone, it is going to result in a little bit of a slurry to come out. So make sure to use it on a surface that you don't mind cleaning afterwards. So I'm going to fill this water up, bottle up, and I'm going to get this ready. All right, the water is ready. This is the angle guide. One is a 15 degree angle. They don't mark it, but the less steep one is a 15 degree, the more steep one is a 20. I'm gonna sharpen my knife at 15 degrees. So I'm just, just gonna guide it in here, all the way to the end of the base. Right now it's not sharp, so it's not gonna cut it, but if you're doing it, be very careful. And we just need to hone the knife or get the edge back on. Because right now this knife, even with the pressure, <laughs> you're not cutting a tomato. So, I'll see you in 15 months this is done soaking. Alright, the whetstone has been taken out of the water. I'm going to put it in this rubber mold that it came in with. It is, feels moist. I'm going to wet it a little bit. I'm going to put it back in this base and get this water out of the way and start sharpening. And the way we want to set this up is we want to face it that way. Just take the knife. Take the water bottle, squirt it a little bit, wet the knife, and the way you want to do it is hold the knife this way, go forward, then go back, go forward, then go back. You want to apply the pressure, the key is don't apply the pressure when you're going forward, only apply the pressure when you're going back. And the distance or the width that you want is a couple of quarters, like if you have two quarters stacked, that's going to be a 15 degree angle. We want to do one from one side and same process on the other side. I'm going to do it in three, two segments, segment one and segment two. That way the knife is sharpened. Because it's the curved knife, I'm not going to do it in the traditional method. I'm going to do it segment by segment. So let's get started. Again, one side is done. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And if it feels raw or it feels not wet, don't forget to use the water. And the black slurry that you're seeing forming, that's the metal shavings. Those are good. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Again, no pressure going forward, pressure going backward only. I'm not a master knife smith or anything. This process works better for me. I don't use the knives for cutting poultry. I only use it for cutting vegetables. So. Thank you. 
all right one side is done and very carefully again this is the dirt thing that's there it has started to take an edge so I'm going to continue on to the other side and then we'll switch on to the side uh, so same step I'm going to follow on the front side again pressure no pressure uh, only put the pressure when it's pushing the stone back the main reason why you're doing the front part is to pick up all this uh, slurry that you have one two three switch side wet one two three switch side one two three 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 right the knife has developed a burr it is reasonably sharp i'm doing it away from myself don't do this now that this knife is done i'm going to do the same thing on the other knife also this thing is dull this thing i'm going to soak in the water that way all the red stone stuff can be out once that is done we're going to turn the stone over and then we're going to go to the 6000 grit to fine it down in addition to the two other knives i also got a vegetable cleaver uh, that i did also take care of as you can see this has developed a razor shiny edge that's what we are looking for when you're sharpening the knife you're looking for a razor edge uh, and shinier it is the better it is so now that this is done i'm going to rinse this off this uh, black residue while it's valuable i don't want it to go on the other side so i'm going to flip it over rinse it off the reason why i don't want it on the other side that way i want to see it come out normally from the knife uh, these three knife took 10 minutes of pop so we are looking at about uh, 30 minutes of work on three knives I'm going to flip it I'm going to do it for 777 so total of 23 minutes I'm going to be spending on polishing the knife and again I had to refill the water bottle because this was empty so I'm going to rinse this off I'm going to start on the other side same exact process as this one but in this case we are just trying to polish the knives and get them smooth and this time we're going to be using 6000 grit it's a lot finer all we're looking to do now is to polish the knife and get it a nice silky smooth finish so similar to before we're going to be taking it and we're going to be going back and forth and polishing the knife uh, the sound it makes is slightly different but you can see the metal shaving come off just do it again no pressure going forward pressure going backward pressure no pressure going forward pressure going backward go back and forth Keep a count of it. How many times have you done it? Flip the knife. Do the same thing on the other side. Uh, again, half a thumbnail is what you're looking for as far as the angle is concerned. That's why I'm not using the angle guide. Uh, and the black residue that you're getting, do not wash this off. This is absolutely critical. The, all the black residue, that's just metal shaving. So it's metal on metal polishing. That's what it's doing. Again, no pressure going forward, pressure going backward. No pressure forward, pressure going backward only. I'm going to continue this along and then once it's done I'm going to show you the end result with the same tomato. Alright this knife is done as you can see it did bleed out a lot of the metal parts or the metal shaving. Do not discard this this is like uh, black gold. We're going to be using the same uh, knife um, the same stone to sharpen the other knife. Uh, do not discard it do not wash this off this is going to make it so much easier. The first one was difficult to do second one is going to be a lot easier and the third one depending on how much black liquid you have is going to be even easier can't wait to show you the results after this is done all three of the knives have been sharpened i'm just going to rinse them off really quick and then uh, test it with the same tomato as you can see there's a lot of uh, metal shaving that did come off with the final step this is absolutely critical do not wash this off uh, while you're sharpening it once you sharpen it of course wipe it off wash it off, uh, let it dry a little bit in the air and put it back for the safe use. And now let's get started with the test. We got the same tomato before I was barely able to make a dent. Now let's try it. Just going to put it and this is, <laughs> this is making me laugh because this is hilarious. Look at it. Just by push, not even pushing, just the weight of the knife is cutting the damn thing. I, I mean, this is effortless cutting. 
and let's try the other side with the same different type of knife i'm not putting any weight on it just holding it with two fingers let's try oh my god <laughs> to me this is funny i mean i don't know why but just gliding the knife actually push the knife right through it's just cutting it uh let's try the cleaver of course i'm going to be using this tomato for cutting cleaver itself is i can't even make this up just dropping it and pushing it it just it just cuts straight through there is nothing else to it to me it's really incredible how much amazing this knife sharpener works i mean this is a upc code this is not a sponsored video i cannot emphasize this enough this is not a sponsored video i paid for the box uh, the cutting stone with my own money and i am not at least bit disappointed just the glide you don't even have to push the finger just let the knife do the cutting incredible you cannot get better results uh, anywhere else i mean this is a pretty firm tomato it's not a soft tomato your chef knife same thing you don't even have to hold it i'm just holding it with two fingers and it just glides right through and makes an incision yeah same thing with this knife again just move act of moving the act of moving is holding it with two fingers act of moving is cutting it incredible job a little bit of a hard work about half an hour to sharpen three knives but well worth the time and it's extremely great as always like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one later people and don't forget to thumbs up